Hey guys, guys, Alex HD here, and today I'm here with another video. Now, in today's video, I'll be comparing the Ace of Spades and the Hawk Moon. However, before this video starts, I'd like to say that I'm posting or well, making this video because I've not made a video in three months, I think. It's over three or four months. And also, in this video, it will be a bit different to, compared to the last ones. Not only that, I'll be comparing them in PvP, but I'll also have a PvE comparison in this video as well, so, yeah. Also, make sure to like, comment, and sub, because that shows me you like you like me doing these videos, and it also show, shows, shows me that to make more of them, so, yeah. Time to get on to the video. Okay now, starting off with the perks of these weapons, the Ace of Spades has corkscrew rifling, high caliber rounds, firefly and smooth grip, while the Hawk Moon has corkscrew rifling, alloy magazine, transformative and smooth grip. The Hawk Moon can get random rolls, however for this video I'm going to be using the curator roll, which means that the Hawk Moon could be more powerful or less powerful. And now I'm going to be talking about the intrinsic perk starting with the Ace of Spades. Its intrinsic perk is Memento Mori, which means getting a kill and reloading right after will make the first 6 shots in the magazine do more damage. And now for the Hawk Rune, its intrinsic perk is Paracausal Shock, which means that getting headshots will build up stacks of Paracausal Shock. And depending on how many Paracausal Shot stacks you have, the final bullet will do significantly more damage. However, as I said, it depends on how many how many paracausal shot stacks you have. Anyway, time to get back into well, time to get into the stats of these weapons. Now I am going to be talking about the stats, starting with the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades has 84 impact, 87 range, 55 stability, 55 handling, 48 reload speed, a round per minute of 140 and a magazine size of 13, while the Hawk Moon has 78 impact, 61 range, 76 stability, 83 handling, 63 reload speed, a round per minute of 140, which is the same as Ace of Spades, and a magazine size of 8, which means the Ace of Spades has a high impact, range and magazine size, while the Hawk Moon has higher stats in stability, handling and reload speed. Those are all perks, those are all the perks and stats, so now it's time to talk about how these weapons do in the Crucible or PvP. So now when it comes to PvP, some of these stats are useless and what I mean by that is that in the Crucible the impact stat does not matter because hand cannons or auto rifles with the same archetypes or round per minute will do the same damage unless there is a perk that increases the weapon's damage. That's what I mean about some stats being useless and that only applies to one stat which I've already talked about, the impact stat. Anyway, let's get back into how well these weapons do in PvP or the Crucible. When it comes to PvP, both the Ace of Spades and Hawk Moon do the exact same amount of damage normally. However, when it comes to range, the Ace of Spades is able to hit shots at further distances easier and the damage drop off isn't as bad as the Hawk Moon. However, when it comes to closer ranged combat, the Hawk Moon feels better to use at closer ranges, with the Hawk Moon having a better stability and handling. Even though the Hawk Moon feels better at close range, the Hawk Moon is better at singular targets because of the intrinsic perk. The Ace of Spades is better at dealing with group of, well, a group of enemies because it's able to do more damage to other combatants because of Memento Mori. And also, if you get a headshot kill, it Firefire will activate, damaging like, well, damaging a group of enemies if they're all standing around each other. While the Hawk Moon uses all of its damage on one person with Paracausal Shot. Now I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of each weapons, starting with the Ace of Spades. When it comes to pros and cons, the Ace of Spades can do more damage because of Memento Mori. It has good range, can do good, well, it can do group damage because of Firefly, has a, and it has a good magazine size. However, the Ace of Spades has a low stability, low handling, and a somewhat low reload speed. Anyway, now let's talk about the Hawk Moon. The Hawk Moon has good stability, good handling, can do a lot of damage in one shot because of Paracausal Shot, 
and has a somewhat good reload speed. However, the Hawkmoon does not really do well, doesn't really have a good way of taking out a group of enemies in one shot, and the magazine is quite small. That is all I can talk about for PvP, well, because that's the only re that's all I can say for PvP, and well, because that's all I can think of. Anyway, now it's time to discuss about the PvE side of things. When it comes to PvE, every stat matters, so if there's a difference in impact between two weapons, even though they're of the same target type, they will both do different damage. Because the AI in PvE does not move around that crazy or as much as the crazy in PvP, then the stability of handling a reload time doesn't really matter as much, but it still does matter. In PvE, there's usually a rule system that you should follow. If you want the best weapon like that. You don't have to follow it, but if you want a good weapon like that, you should probably use it. The first rule is that you should probably, you should usually have a weapon that's good at killing ordinary enemies and as a bonus, it can be good at killing powerful enemies as well. The second rule, rule or law, as I say, is that you should have a weapon that can do, that can do a lot of brute damage and can kill your powerful enemies. And the third rule is that you should have a weapon that does a lot of damage and also then you say you can go and kill bosses. So yeah, that's the free rule system that you should use when it was say it was when a good weapon right out, but you don't as I said you don't really have to kill it. The ace of spades in this law system falls under the first and the second rule. Because the Ace of Spades can kill ordinary enemies and is able to do quite a bit of damage because of the Mentori Mori, which means it's able to kill powerful enemies easily. And because of Firefly, it's able to, to do area damage, which means, well, that, that's why it falls under the second law. Now for the Hawkmoon. The Hawkmoon falls under the first and third law. The Hawkmoon can kill ordinary enemies and can do some damage towards powerful enemies. And because of Paracles of Shot, it also puts the Hawkmoon under the third law, being able to do lots of damage or do damage against bosses. This concludes the PvE section and it also concludes the, concludes the video. So if you like this video, make sure to comment and sub so you, I know you like these videos. Anyway, this is Alex HD signing off.